Good morning, you guys. So, um, I just got a call from my doctor, and I'm not anemic, which is good, but they still don't know what it is. She thinks it might be something with my heart. I'm not sure yet. So, who knows what's wrong with me? Um, but, yeah. So, for now, I'm just going to continue on doing what I'm doing. And, you know, if it stays the same, I'll get back in contact with her. And we would just set up another date, and I would see a cardiovascular specialist. You don't really have to measure it, just put it all a lot. Put one banana or two? You should put like four. Four bananas? I put three in mine at a time. She thinks I'm crazy. Cold. You didn't put the thing in it. No ways, it's cold. Did they bring it? I put a lot of tin. I need my iron. That's a lot. What a Alright, so one thing I want to go over is just how natural the Arbonne protein shakes are because a lot of times you're going to get, you know, genetically modified things in your protein, a lot of dairy protein and most of your other proteins and um, I just want to go over what's in the Arbonne protein so you guys can see that it truly is all 100% made without any animal products and uh, it's really, really great. So. The first ingredient on it is pea protein isolate. So all that is is just a concentrated form of pea protein. Uh, then there's cranberry protein and rice protein. So you'll have three different kinds of protein. All they're coming from plant-based things. Uh, then after that you have sugar cane, sunflower oil, natural vanilla flavor, cornstarch, inulin, xanthan gum, flaxseed, stevia leaf extract, gum acacaya. I think that's how you say it. And then Garar gum. So all of these things are really, really, really natural. There's no process, well, there's minimal processing when it comes to these things. And uh, most of them can just be found straight from the plant. And then another thing I wanna go over too is just all the vitamins and nutrients that are coming in with this. So you're gonna get vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin E, thiamine, or thiamine, however you say it, riboflavin, niacin, vitamin B6, folate, vitamin B12, biotin, pantothenic acid, calcium, iodine, magnesium, zinc, selenium, copper, magnesium, oh, manganese, uh, chromium, molybdenum, I don't know what that is, I'm gonna have to do some research, uh, sodium and then potassium, and yeah, so it's gonna be 14 carbs, these lines, there's so many lines, nine sugars, three fat, and then 20 protein, so really it isn't bad at all, and yeah, it's just it. It's an awesome protein. I would definitely suggest trying it out. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to ask me and uh, I can get you some more information. Maybe we can meet up and uh, do some stuff where you can try some of the stuff out. So I would definitely suggest this and get back to me if you guys want to know more. I forgot I still had some protein left from before and uh, I just want to do like a comparison on what's in this one in the ingredients. So the whey protein blend, which is whey protein isolate, whey protein concentrate and whey protein hydrosolate. So that's three different kinds of dairy protein, all different ways of being manufactured and mixed together. Um, then you have natural and artificial flavors. So right there that's saying that we have genetically modified things in here. Um, salt, xanthax gum, which the other one has. Um, sucralose, essential linoleic acid, digestive enzyme complex, amylase, lipase, protease, papain. As you can see, it's a lot of stuff I can't read and don't know what it is. So 
with the difference between the two is this is all fuck. This protein. If you want a whey protein, I would suggest this protein. It's gluten free. It's very good. But the problem with it is, is it's not very natural. Most of the things are coming from very highly manufactured and highly concentrated forms of the plants and animals that we see daily. So um, that's really the difference between the two. Arbon is more natural and then regular whey protein is not. You're going to have your artificial flavors, your artificial proteins, your artificial, all of it, it's just artificial. So if you're looking to get away from the artificial, I would definitely suggest switching to an Arbon or if you're not looking to go towards Arbon, then I would just start looking into things that are more natural than the artificial flavors. All right, so I forgot to record my, uh, oh, I forgot to record all my meals, actually, besides the smoothie. Um, so I, <laughs> damn, I'm kind of pissed. So I, uh, for lunch today, I had a, um, uh, the rest of my BDs from yesterday, I brought some home. And then for dinner, we had some Taco Bell, which obviously I know isn't healthy because I'm the biggest health advocate I know, but shut up. Um, so for at Taco Bell, I had a two bean burritos with no onions or cheese, and then I added potatoes and rice to them um, with some mild sauce. So not very nutritious at all, but it filled me up, tastes good. That's all I really cared about today. Uh, pretty lazy day. I didn't really do much. I just kind of laid around. Um, so. I don't, I don't know where I was going with this. <laughs> I had this whole video planned out in my head. Exactly what I wanted to say. And everything. <laughs> I don't remember a single word. All that food stuff was just made up because I lost it all at the beginning and I thought I'd be able to get it back now. Keep doing that. <laughs> Pretty lazy today. Oh, I do remember now. Okay, so <laughs> I wanted to talk about the protein that I pulled out after the Arbonne protein earlier in this video. So I want to go over all of that stuff that I was saying in the ingredients, how I said it, you know, it's, it's all artificial. Not all of it is artificial. Um, not all of it is bad for you. And it's not going to kill you if you eat, are using that. Um, it's just something that I w I'm trying to veer from just because, you know, there's recent studies and it's not even that recent either. It's, it's kind of like known that dairy isn't the best for you. So I'm trying to veer from dairy altogether. Obviously, I veered completely from meat and dairy. And... Um, if you're trying to veer from the dairy, I would stay away from whey. So if you didn't know that, whey is a dairy protein. And also that, you know, everything that you're seeing in the ingredients, if you can't read it, it's not... What are you talking about? Oh, you want my other foot. <laughs> She's a queen, I swear. Anyways, so not everything is bad in there. Not any of it's going to, you know... You're not going to see a lot of drastic um, changes from switching to the one to the other. I know from switching from off a dairy diet, you're going to get a lot less bloating um, and a lot less uh, like aching pains in your bones. Everybody says that dairy's, you know, where are you going to get your calcium from? You need milk for strong bones, but it's not true. Um, it's actually proven now that it's, okay, I want to take that back because I don't know for a hundred percent sure it's proven, but I'm pretty sure it's proven now. Um, See, so yeah, I don't, I don't. The thing is, is I don't want to get to a point in my life where, say, I have this huge following and all these people are listening to me, and then people go back and watch my old videos, and he's like, "This kid's a liar, incredible source." Like, shut the fuck up. Uh, like, are you kidding me? I see that all the time, so I'm not a hundred thousand percent sure. I'm like ninety nine point nine thousand percent sure that dairy is not the best for you so stay away from that and uh, if you're looking to get into something that is not dairy and um, is going to cause soreness or bloating then Arbonne's a really really great choice 
Uh, I'm going to be getting my 30 days to healthy living soon, hopefully within the next couple of weeks. And I'm going to go over all of that with you guys, show you everything that's coming in it, and show you exactly how a full day of eating works with that and um, the benefits of going that route and making sure that you get 100% of your nutrients and vitamins every day. But that's going to be it for this video, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, hit the bell and remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you, guys.